We'd really like to see more games about other less discussed military conflicts, like our next game, which is about the Communist Party of Peru and their long soil to bring equality and prosperity to the nation through random violence and kidnapping. At least that's what I thought the game was about. And then I realized the title wasn't Shining Path. It's Shining Force, which is just some RPG franchise. Here's a review of Shining Force, EXA. If there's dated rock music and guys wearing revealing clothing, you'd better believe you're looking at a Japanese RPG. Shining Force! Shining Force EXA, to be exact. When the game starts out, you're introduced to your dopey, midriff-bearing lead character. I don't get it. That's Toma. He's trying to find the ancient Shining Force, a sword that contains unimaginable power. Jeez, ah, I wish I could just find that sword and become king already. He's joined by Cyril, his pretentious no. lady friend. We're both cogs in the Wheel of Fate. Oh boy, looks like someone's been reading a few too many Robert Jordan books. Once you find the weapon, you have to, um, it's no pull good. it out. I can't pull it out. Kind of like that old tale of the sword in the stone, except that... Oh wait, it's exactly like the sword in the stone. Let me your strength. Shining Force! Huh? Toma pulls out the sword, which sounds like a good thing, but unfortunately it triggers events that throw the world into disarray. On the plus side, though, the dungeon you're in transforms into a giant floating castle, which is piloted by... Um... A Doberman Pinscher. A pleasure to meet you. Man, what were they smoking when they came up with this? I wonder if I already used up all of that herb. Oh, right. Throughout the game, one of the characters heads out to complete quests and missions, while the other person stays home to defend the castle. You are more than welcome to stay behind. Switching between the two characters adds some nice variety to the game, but just make sure that you keep both leveled up accordingly. That sounds like a good idea to me. The actual combat system is pretty hack and slash. Longtime fans might miss the strategy of older Shining Force games, but we actually had a pretty good time fighting our way through this brawler. Okay, whatever. You've probably already noticed that literally every ounce of voice acting is terrible. It's no good. At times, it's like a case study in cheesy sitcom writing. I know you'll be the first in line for the boar I caught tonight. <laughs> well, you got me there. Uh, good one. <laughs> the locals are attractively rendered, and you can actually see the items that you equip on your character model, which always buys you bonus points from us. At the end of the day, we're left with a solid action RPG that's a lot of fun and features a ton of suggestive sound bites. I hope you're not gonna eat the whole thing yourself like you did last time. I especially like your tail. I'll carry your load. Nice and juicy! It looks like the meat is ready. Come on, the meat's ready. One sip and you'll be full of pep. I can't pull it out. Looks like it's been waiting for me to pull it out all this time. Don't touch it, please! We're surprised to admit it, but we actually liked this game. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, really, we liked it. Thanks! <laughs> I like you too. Shining Force Exa gets a four. Shining Force! Out of five.